What's going on, guys? I'm Jace. Josh, get your ass in here. <laughs> the fuck what? What are you doing, man? Start without me eating ice cream. Okay, we'll wait. I'll just talk some shit about you. Uh, did you guys know that Josh actually has a... Oh, you're here. <laughs> what the fuck, man? All right, everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We're going to watch the death battle between Sh Shadow the Hedgehog and Ryuko Matoi from Kill la Kill. Josh, who do you think is going to win? Maybe Shadow, because I can't imagine them giving Shadow three L's in a row. Wait, he lost all times? Yeah, he lost against Mewtwo, and he lost against Vegeta. Hmm. I swear he won at least one of those. Nope. I had to look up. I had to watch one of the death battles a second time to remember who won, and that was Terry <laughs> versus Ken. I, I can't even remember. I watched Kill a Kill, like, years ago. I want to see your reaction who, to the... Who the won Amy Rose versus Ramona Flowers? Do I you remember, remember? It was Ramona Flowers, right? Really? I can't wait to see your reaction to the whole, uh... The, the, when they go to talk about Kill a Kill. The show's ridiculous. <laughs> so, well, I'm, go I'm going to the Death Battle Blind. Josh has some information, apparently. Yeah, so. the, the, there's literally, like... The premise of the show is that the that clothing is our aliens, and that the, the people who are rebelling against clothing are... There's an organization called Nudist Beach. <clears throat> That's so dumb. People... Uh, I'm pretty sure that, not to get political, but I'm pretty sure that anyone... You can invent just about anything nowadays, and there are going to be people who hate it. It doesn't matter what it is. There are going to be people who are going to protest the shit out of it. Here, I invented a ball. Be like, well, what about cubes and pyramids and some shit like that? It's dumb. Not diverse enough. Let's go. Analysis time. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna be eating this for a little bit. Sorry about that. Don't apologize for deliciousness. Shadow the Hedgehog, powerhouse of chaos, and rival to Sonic. And Ryuko Matoi, the teen fighter in life fiber from Kill the Kill. They both made It's actually canon that Sonic Shadow's favorite anime out, is Kill the Kill. The deadliest edgelord of them all. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Armor, armor and, and or her lack of armor. Would win a death battle. Pixel animation, nice. Dr. Gerald Robotnik, grandfather yep. to the Dr. Eggman we all know, had a problem. His granddaughter, Maria, was dying. Oh, yeah. Due to a neuroimmunity disease with no known cure. But old Jerry had a plan. When the government contacted him to build the ultimate life form, ultimate he life form. his DNA could cure Maria no problem. So he took the job, and by studying the infinite power of chaos emeralds with some alien assistance, they made a hedgehog. The one and only Shadow the Hedgehog. Why was it a hedgehog? We Why don't know. He had a gun. Mm -hmm. commissioned him, or was it Hot Topic? Better hot question, Topic. Since when were hedgehogs ultimate disease curing yep. life forms? I mean, Gerald's prototype was a lizard, which sort of makes sense as certain reptiles have regenerative tissue, but then he went from this to a hedgehog. Yep. Okay. Who Gotta cares? heal fast. A lizard, hedgehog, squirrel, or whatever, Wiz. All that matters is he's super badass looking, super badass sounding, and his superpower. And he can chaos. stop time. Literally. Shadow's powers are directly tied chaos to those control. of the miracle gems, Chaos Emeralds. He can tap into their oh, powerful yeah, super incredible shadow. feats. Similar to his blue blur rival. Likely for this very reason, he actually possesses many of the same abilities as Sonic. You know, the guy who's so fast he can almost outrun a black hole? Oh, spin attacks, homing attacks, spin almost dashes, outrun, etc. But unlike his blue buddy, Shadow's not afraid to get serious and bust out some lead. Hey Sonic, why use a spin attack when you've got a goddamn gun or a sword as big as you? Look at that thing! Whoa, he's used sword? some of the same power-ups that Sonic oh, yeah. used, like heat barriers and magnetic lightning shields. But he also has some unique gear all of his own. His air shoes are way cooler than Sonic's sneakers. They can mm. boost his speed to match mm. Sonic's and also let him fly. Kind of. He's even got some gear attached that lets him attack at the speed of light. <clears throat> However, all of these abilities and equipment are mere accessories to Shadow's true power. The might of chaos itself. Even chaos. without an emerald on hand, Shadow can summon similar power, manifesting attacks like Black Tornado, okay. Chaos Blast, or the deadly Chaos Spear. But even though they totally asked for Doc Jerry to make Shadow, the feds got spooked and tried to shut down the project. And that's when things went bad. Oh, they killed the girl. Like, Really bad. <laughs> Shadow was successfully sealed away, but in the crossfire, a life was lost. Maria. Locked up and super pissed off, Shadow had plenty of time to work on his angsty poetry. And Jerry had time to get <laughs> memories and a need for revenge against all humanity. 
Which, you think we're ever gonna find a scientist who doesn't go totally bonkers? I mean, what about me? Uh, <laughs> okay. Jury's still out. Since Maria was Shadow's only real friend, revenge seemed like a good idea. Which was a know. serious problem considering just how powerful he is. He can teleport, slow down, or even teleport. stop time, and even time traveled a bit. And oh, just yeah. like any teenage boy, he's got some serious mood swings he doesn't like to talk about. Which can actually affect his abilities. With negative emotion, his raw power intensifies. With mm -hmm. positive emotion, he gains more control. Okay. But when it comes down to it, the government may have been right to worry. Shadow possesses so much power, even he can't always control it. Chaos powers are crazy. Sonic once used all seven of the Chaos Emeralds to literally rebuild the Earth. This is why Shadow wears inhibitor rings, oh, which yeah. limit how much Chaos energy he can release at once. When he does remove them, what he loses in control is made up for by a massive increase in power, enough to match that of a whole Chaos Emerald. Hmm. Forgot about the inhibitor what, rings. What are you looking at? Is that a... Do you have a ring on your robot arm? It was a... Gift? Cool. Now well, good luck with that. All the rings I've given out to people always get... Inhibitor power. ring! <laughs> anyway, Spikey had so powerful, he teleported an entire <clears throat> space colony and even a giant asteroid. Plus, he's held back this huge space plant monster. Oh boy. And of course, tapping into the power of additional Chaos Emeralds increases his power Gold, to unbelievable super shadow. heights. By doing a tango with all seven, he can turn into Super Shadow. Now, nice. without power rings, this form can't stick around for more than a full minute. But while he's golden, he's got super enhanced abilities, is basically invulnerable, and he can fly. Base Shadows not only survived being shot out of a cannon, but he's just as tough as Sonic, who survived the space station Death Egg exploding right in front of him. Most impressively, mm. as Super Shadow, he and Super Sonic were fired into Planet Aquarius, obliterating Ooh. it. This would take over a whole exaton of TNT. So you've exasplained. All this happened because after 50 years of Shadow being trapped, Exoton? That's a new to conquer the world. Prefix. Sonic and crew had to stop him from destroying all mankind, but really he's so fast he'd wreck anyone's shit before they'd notice. Shadow has dodged gunfire and destroyed enemies without being seen, but his light speed attacks are stated as being exactly that. Light speed. Almost three million meters per second. Yeah, pretty so fucking Shadow's fast. Super strong and super fast. Makes sense he's a formidable enemy to just about anyone. Lucky for our heroes, they inspired Shadow <clears throat> to regain his memories of Maria, who actually wanted him to protect humanity instead of, you know, destroy yeah, you fuck that may up? have softened up, but he'll always be the edgy hedgehog we love to hate to love. We love to hate to love. Understood. Initiating the mission now. All right, Jace, you ready for this ridiculousness? Thousands of years ago, Bring aliens on. that would come to be known as life fibers crashed to Earth. These parasites attached themselves to the most intelligent species they could find. Mm -hmm. Humans. And they even got humans to make them into clothes so it was easier for them to live on us and provide viewers with gratuitous fan service. Uh, yeah. Oh, anyway, boy. the life fibers yeah. helped humans evolve more quickly and soon just passively survived as humanity developed. But some weren't content with such passivity, like Ragyo Kirui, who had access to the original primordial life fiber that landed mm -hmm. on Earth so long ago. And humans are gonna human, so she and her husband experimented on that sucker like nobody's business. They attempted to infuse fibers into both of their daughters. Their first daughter was too old for the experiment to be a success, and it appeared that their infant second daughter was also a failure. So Ragyo just threw her away. Yeah, oh, she did. She threw away her baby? Kind of reminds me of how my dad just threw away our relationship. Uh, They've been well, doing this a lot. They've been this bringing child, up Boomstick's dad a lot. Her father couldn't stand by Ragyo's decision and rescued her, <clears throat> assuming the name Ishin Matoi, and raised this daughter himself. This is Ryuko. Yeah, things were okay for a while, but it wasn't a picnic at the Matoi household. Ryuko and Ishin oh didn't always get along, so he shipped her off to boarding school to fight other people there instead of him. When she finally came home, she found dear old dad bleeding out, impaled by a weird-looking sword. This was the first half of what would become her signature weapon, mm -hmm. the Scissor Blades. In Ishin's last moments, he urged Ryuko to find whoever wielded the other half of the weapon, the one who killed him. Ryuku might not have known it, but the scissor blades were created by her father out of life fibers. They're actually one of the only weapons that can cut and destroy life fibers, mm -hmm. which is important when your opponents are all using, you know, life fibers. I would say so start a counter. What the fuck is this? Fiber, start a counter. You'd definitely die, Wiz. 
try that at home. Anyway, with the quest of revenge and half a scissor blade, she started hunting down her father's killer. But she couldn't do it by herself, so she found a skimpy sailor suit to help her out. Yeah, here's that fan service thing I was telling you about. This is Senkets, a living suit made from life fibers, also known as a Kamui. Now, there's plenty of clothing out there made with some life fiber, but a Kamui like Senkets is unique in that it's made of 100% life mm -hmm. fiber. And yes, I said living suit. Wait for you, yeah, it's alive. These assassins can't hear me. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He likes it's being ironed. Fuck. Anyone can wear Senkets. As they have to successfully bond with him for the process to work. Oh yeah, he drinks her blood. For Ryuko, she absolutely could, in no small part thanks to the life fibers infused within her body when she was an infant. Mm -hmm. See, mom, you trash person, it did work. And when she and Sinkets learned how to work together, there wasn't much that could stand in their way. He's more than just a sailor outfit. As a life fiber construct, Senkets can absorb other life fibers to increase his own power, mm -hmm. allowing him to transform to gain new abilities. His Senjin form makes him super spiky, and his Shifu form it's turns Ryoko into a badass fighting fly. rocket. He's also able to combine both the Senjin and Shifu forms for more versatility. Ooh, I forgot about that. So she managed to recover the other blade. Cost for Ryuko as they're fueled by Senkets consuming her blood. Yes. This is most dangerous in oh, his yeah. super form that occurs when Ryuko gets too upset and Senkets loses control. If not stopped in time, she could die from too much blood loss. But most impressive is when Ryuko straight up goes flying Super Saiyan oh and Senkets God. turns into his Kisaragi form. It's way more powerful and uses even more of her blood. What's the deal? Is Senkets a vampire? Well, a popular eh. theory suggests that it's all a metaphor for puberty. Senkets pulling out Ryuko's blood is symbolic of menstruation, and the skimpier outfits visualize acceptance of sexuality and adulthood. Interesting. Except she's a teenager who already went through puberty. Wiz, do you have a daughter? No. I thought so. At least having life okay. fiber DNA means she has crazy abilities on top of Senkets' transformations, like insane super fast healing. Oh yeah, she got her heart ripped out one time. themselves so quickly that Ryuko's body starts regenerating before a blade has finished cutting through her. Unless someone is quick enough to cut through her body before this oh, regeneration begins, she can survive almost anything. She's been stabbed and sliced tons of times, including completely in half, and even Ooh. had her heart ripped out of her chest. Yep. Can we get this chick as the next guest character in Mortal Kombat? I mean, they're taking basically anybody these days. So. <laughs> her strength is incredible. At one point, she had to blast a hole through a layer of life fibers surrounding the entire planet. Ooh. Life fibers are stated to be harder than solid steel, so to pull this off, she must have struck with a force equivalent to over 650 exatons oh, of TNT. Exaton again! Which means she'd be able to take a hit that strong too. But with all these powers and more, Ryuko finally found Ryuko. her father's killer. I don't and know. It has to the be. rending scissors. These swords can casually cut through skyscrapers. I'm not gonna. That was in her base form. form. I'm not gonna believe that the Shadow's gonna win just because he's well, lost twice already. So without gigantic, a win. they eclipse the freaking Earth. What is this show? Next to Ryuko, one scissor blade is normally about two and a half feet long. Scaling up, the alumni mode appears to be about 1,017 oh. times larger, weighing well over 3 million tons. If you have a pair of normal scissors at home, imagine lifting 50 billion of those all at once. That's what this is like. She can slice through 200 tennis balls five times each in less than a second, which Whoa. Be scientifically okay. That's really fast. Call. <clears throat> fast as f or 8,000 times faster than sound. And she rocketed into the atmosphere in less than 18 seconds, which means her flying speed can reach Mach 500. Which is... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why is everyone naked? <laughs> <laughs> but after dedicating herself to... <laughs> <laughs> you thought I'd ask that with the uh, Genos fight. Something unexpected. It's like, nope, seen that a hero. before. <laughs> Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, Shadow and Ryuko are always ready to perform. And uh, I Who want, are you going with? I want Ryuko to win, but it's also it seems pretty even to me. Did they talk about Okay, Shadow's, first of all, here's the thing. I don't think they talked about Shadow's healing powers. Shadow and... May not have been listening. Shadow and Sonic were launched at a fucking planet. But that was also with the help of Sonic. And that was how many exotons? 
I don't remember. I can't remember. You need fucking notepads. Should we, should we go back and look at the exotons? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm so gonna go back. Let's go back and look at the exotons. Oh! Exoton of TNT. But one exoton of TNT compared to like Ryuko's 600. Yeah, but did, was it, did it say tons of TNT or what did it just say tons? I think it just said, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's Matoi. It's gonna be Matoi, okay. Because if you're gonna strike with that force, that means you're gonna. The third. Okay. I'm gonna get a little scientific. But, uh, the third. Newton's third law says that if you're striking with that force, you're also taking that force. So you have to be able to take that. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be my toy. All right, I won't. I might be. I might be wrong, and it might be Shadow, but I'm, I'm also being biased because I I like Kill a Kill. All right, All right. So me and you, my toy. If we lose, we gotta slap each other. All right. Yep, my toy. It is. Yep. Let's go. We've made our decision. We're locking it in, and it's time for a death battle. battle! Hell yeah. Nice motorcycle. Oh, gotta go fast! Hey! You cut me off, asshat! <laughs> Who cares? Ryuko, maybe we should... Oh, yeah? He tried to be like... That's the... some extreme road rage. <laughs> he tried to be the... Oh my god, they're doing this transformation sequence. He's like, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> nah, he's taking it as a, as a matter of fact. Okay. Tornado! Not to mention, I forgot to mention it. Ryuko also took on each member of, like, this a group called the Elite Four. Oh, I actually saw that little tagline okay. in the, uh, had a list. It was, like, the, the Academy's, like, highest, the strongest four. He's anticipating. You should anticipate him instead. Uh, no shit, stupid! <laughs> They're kind of nailing her personality, though. That's pretty good. Fuck him up! Damn. Let's get faster. Nice! <laughs> A gun. Oh, I didn't work. Nice sword. Mommy pack that sword for you. Woo! We're going, are we gonna go to space? I feel like we're gonna go to space. Careful, that hurts. Have a little faith. How's he gonna hurt Ryuko? She's survived getting cut in half. He's gonna have like <laughs> atomize her. Survived getting her heart ripped out. Time to end this. Behold my power. That cut keeps on you have, to Ooh. you have to completely vaporize her. Ooh. Don't lose your way! That'd be great if they played the music. Faker. Faker. Don't lose your way! Yeah, we're in space, I called it. Scissor blade. Giant scissor blade! <laughs> Eclipsing the sun. He just like catches it like this, like you're not gonna get me. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. Chaos blast. Damn it. Nah. No. Damn. I hate it when we're wrong. That's horse shit. Fuck! KO! You know, we made fun of how little clothing Ryoko was wearing, but Shadow's been naked the whole time! <laughs> Armed with Senkets, her scissor blades, and her life fiber buffs, Ryuko was definitely a match for Shadow at first. Yeah, with her awesome strength combined with her insane endurance, Space Form Shadow was in a lot of trouble. But even then, it wasn't a surefire win for the rocket ship. See, I told you, they weren't gonna give him three L's in a row. Shadow never withstood anything on the scale of Ryuko's hole in the life fibers surrounding Earth. At her maximum power, she could have easily dealt a killing blow if she could catch him. Shadow could keep up with Sonic the Hedgehog, whose race He's against the Black fast. Hole proves he can move mm -hmm. over 260,000 times faster than sound. 
far faster than anything Ryuko's shown, and more than mm. quick enough to slice through a life fiber before it has time to heal. Once the red and black hedgehog turned red and gold, Ryuko didn't really have a way to take him down. I mean, Super Shadow's chaos powers use all seven chaos emeralds, which can move pieces of the- We've been focusing too much on power. We didn't, we, we didn't factor in how fucking fast he was. God damn it. Uh, I was thinking Shadow when I got here, but then you convinced me with the whole, like... Oh, now you're bringing in more. a ton of power. A lot more than Ryuko's even one chaos Why are you got Then why'd you bring I'm up the like first one? I'm like about nearly done with death battle. Oh look at Bear. Oh the, he did this amazing feat. Oh well the other person did this feat. Be like, well they also did this feat. Be like And you're gonna wait until after the battle to show us that? What the fuck? Hey, he's pretty beat up about it too. Do you know what he said when he was asked what his favorite anime is? I like the one with the edgy girl and the scissor blade. It's canon. No no really. In they mentioned Berlin, it. The Edgehog couldn't be overshadowed, and Ryuko's life fiber was snipped. The winner is Shadow the Hedgehog. Boo, whatever. Damn it. Why'd you convince me otherwise? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the next matchup next week. But you can always get more Death Battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there and by downloading the battle music Who's right next? down below. Who's next? Anime. Please. No superheroes. Damn it. Lex Luthor versus Doctor Doom. What? Yeah, sorry, no, it's not gonna be Lex Luthor. I don't care. It is not gonna be. That's gonna. That's not gonna be a fun death battle. Uh, oh! You got me last time, uh, bitch. I was like, oh, you were doing it. I'm like, oh, great, yeah. he's rubbing his hands again. I will say, like last time you were rubbing your oh, hands. Oh man, I'm scared. Not only did I like, not only did I get you when you weren't expecting it. I looked back at the footage. Your eyes were closed. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. No, wait, wait. Why ah! no. <laughs> oh, you gotta do it? <laughs> Get okay. over it! I feel like you're gonna dislocate my jaw! Get over it, you're too far away! <laughs> Take it like a man! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I went up with that one, did you see? What was that, an uppercut? Yeah! Not bad as I was expecting. But that was probably one of my best slaps on you. Ah. Best slap I got on you since, uh... Story vs. Pit. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Alright, so next up is Life Solution vs. Dr. Doom. I was like... I've got your nose a little bit. Nah. Next up is Dr. Doom versus Lex Luthor. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're going to put their best effort into it. It's just not characters I really care about all that much. I don't think you're going to have anyone win other than Dr. Doom, honestly. Like, Didn't he have like crazy time powers and shit when he went up against Darth Vader? Doesn't he also have magic? Yeah, he's got magic. Now this death battle, I'm surprised they actually mentioned it's canon that Shadow the Hedgehog's favorite anime is Kill the Kill. <laughs> Yeah. But, ah, I was thinking it. I was like, and the evidence was all there. I was like, because he, he's taking two L's. They're not going to have him take a third one. I know. That, that's, that's, well, that's poor evidence to say that someone... It's my win. logic, and it came true, Jace. It is here. I don't think that's good logic. It's actually interesting, because this is actually a good example of something I saw that happened in uh, the Spider-Man video game. Basically, uh, Spider-Man saved Miles Morales while he was getting beat up. He's like... But he's like, hey, uh, look, kid, that was really brave, but you can't, but you shouldn't be going picking fights, man. Be like, hey, you go picking fights all the time. Be like, yeah, I mean, you can't go swinging at someone twice your size, though. I mean, I do it all the time. He's like, oh, I mean, like when you fought a... Uh, the rhino? When you fought the rhino on the on the uh, bridge over there, be like, perfect example. If the other guy's stronger, you gotta be quicker. Mm -hmm. I, I And Shadow about was quicker. I thought about that. I'm like, he is faster. But I thought she was fast. She was also really fast. I thought maybe she was. I thought maybe she was gonna be like fast enough. Where her power, like that, coupled with the fact that she's like really powerful. Because they didn't say like the two thousand whatever. They said one kiloton of TNT. They didn't mention the, the TNT for the other feet, which pissed me off. And didn't they say that their their comp their, Shadow didn't even pull the Earth back together? That's what Sonic did, which is something I find a little upsetting. That like. You can measure you. You're measuring feats from something, from char the characters that aren't the person you're analyzing. But you're saying it's close enough because they have the same abilities or some shit. I'm like, I don't really feel like that's how it what? works. How do you know how they have the same abilities, huh? 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 Because it's it's not like it's not like Shadow is a clone of Sonic. That would be I would be more okay with it if it was. But no, he's just some random like ultimate life form that was created that just happens to look like a hedgehog and it looks like Sonic. 
Uh, I did like the um, I did like the two D like transformation animation sequence. It was pretty good, and I also liked uh, they kind of nailed Ryuko's personality. Like, be careful, that hurt. No shit. Like she curses. She's she's very crass. It's pretty good. It, I would have lost my shit if uh, they played that's the song that plays from Kill a Kill. Don't lose your way. That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Let's end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Josh. I'm Jason. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.